When I look into the audience today, I see not just my friends and classmates, I see flames. When I look at Rodrigo Viduere up there, I see a flame fighting for a future Venezuela that is democratic and open. <laughs> when I look at Michal Hussein, I see a flame fighting for the rights of women and girls in Pakistan. And when I look at Arya Florent, I see a flame fighting for economic justice for the African-American community. I could go on and on about the amazing causes of my classmates, but um, time is short and your applause has been long. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'd like to pause to ask a question originally posed by Congressman John Lewis. Will you be guiding lights or firecrackers? When I started at the Kennedy School, I wanted to seize every opportunity to work on my purpose. So I took six classes, went to every social event, and was running a startup on the side. I became the firecracker, bright for a moment, but quick to burn out. It's because I was ignoring the things that nourished me. My best friend from high school had his first baby that semester, and it took me a month to call. When I talked to my parents, I would often be distracted. When my mom was telling me about her days. I was sometimes scanning my phone, my emails, wondering about what the next thing was to do. I rarely worked out. I often skipped breakfast. By the end of the semester, I realized something was off. It would take me a long time to make even the tiniest of decisions, like what to wear in the morning. My brain felt foggy, like it was moving in slow motion. I later learned that that can be a symptom of depression. So let's be real. While our passions can fuel us, they can also consume us. As we strive to make the change that we seek in this world, we must balance self-care with the care that we have for the world. And we can start by acknowledging the importance of taking care of our health and wellness and making that an equal priority with the causes that we devote ourselves to. I'm now working on a mental health startup so my flame has become helping others to take care of themselves. And as part of that, I've started researching positive psychology, or the study of how we can not just live in this world, but thrive in it. I'm by no means an expert, but I wanted to share a couple pieces of advice that have worked for me. First, be very specific about your self-care goals. I've made a promise to myself that I'll go for a run every morning, even if it's just a scamper around the block. And that makes it really obvious for me. When I miss my morning run, I know that I haven't taken care of myself that day, just as I know that if I missed a deadline, I'm behind on work. The key to doing those things that are important but not urgent are being really specific about how you're going to get it done. Second piece of advice I have is to treasure and prioritize relationships. The Harvard study of adult development followed a group of participants for 80 years, and they found that the most imp important predictor of health wasn't something like cholesterol, but rather the quality of one's relationships. So the key to a good life is exactly what we see here in this room today, loving connections. So my friends, let's remember that a flame can't burn without the fuel to feed it. As we enter a new stage of our lives, let's commit ourselves both to our missions and to our well-being so that we can continue to burn brightly, not just today, not just tomorrow, but for years and years to come. Thank you.